What's up guys, Cliff here from The Sunday Drive. In today's video, we're gonna quickly show you how to make sure you have the right clearance when you're installing your high pressure fuel pump with an aftermarket camshaft and or fuel lash. And we're gonna show you how to fix it if you don't. So we're doing this because we are actually deleting the AFM or DOD system on my 2014 L83 Silverado. And if you guys wanna know how to do that, you can check out the video at the link above. We have a whole series going through that. But because we're doing that, we are installing a aftermarket camshaft, which has a modified fuel lobe to allow for extra fueling of the system. And as part of that installation, we also have a lash cap, which goes on top of the hydraulic follower, which presses up on your fuel pump. Now, the reason you need to do this is if you bottom out your fuel pump, you can actually blow the heads off of the bolts that hold the fuel pump down. Um, obviously that is not gonna end well for you or your motor. So we're gonna show you how to prevent that today. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is remove this spring off the bottom of the fuel pump. Okay, it just pops off, only goes on one way. Now you wanna find the highest point of your fuel lobe. We already have the lash cap installed on the follower. And if you guys need to know how to do that, check out the video at the link above. Now we're gonna set our fuel pump on top. Now what we're gonna do is make sure I can bolt this down finger tight at the highest point of the fuel lobe. So we've went ahead and found the highest point by cranking the motor over. And now we're just gonna make sure I can tighten this down by hand. Now with the gasket removed, if I can tighten this down all the way by hand at that highest point, we'll know that we have plenty of clearance to tighten these bolts down with this cam and lash. As you can see, I was able to finger tighten this flush to the VLOM, so we have plenty of clearance to install this fuel pump with our new setup. With the gasket in there, we're gonna have an additional 12 thousandths of clearance, so we are in very good shape. Now we're gonna show you how to fix this if you don't have the proper clearance. Now, if you end up with a situation like this where there's a gap below your fuel pump, you wanna take a feeler gauge like this, and we'll have one linked in the description below, and determine the thickness of that gap. Now, if you're less than 12 thousandths of an inch, you're in good shape because that's the thickness of the gasket that's gonna be installed below the fuel pump. However, if it's more than that, you're gonna to wanna to go to a smaller fuel lash. I'm working with a 80 thousandths fuel lash, and the next step down is a 60 thousandths fuel lash. You can also machine your existing fuel lash down to get to exactly where you want. Now, there's one more step. We need to make sure we have the appropriate preload on the fuel pump. So you're gonna turn the motor over until the fuel lobe is at its base circle, and that will be at base circle when cylinder one is at top dead center. Now you're gonna take your gasket and set the fuel pump assembly on there. And as you can see, it's not sitting flush. There's a little bit of a wiggle, so that means you will have the correct preload on your fuel pump. And that is one of the main reasons for installing that lash when going with an aftermarket cam, so that it makes up for that difference at base zero of the fuel lobe. You wanna make sure to seat the fuel pump evenly, so alternate finger tightening the fuel pump down. Again, we're gonna evenly tighten these down the same amount on both sides so it seats evenly until we get to 18 foot-pounds of torque. That's it. I hope the video was helpful. And if you are doing this, you are probably changing out the camshaft, which means you are also deleting AFM. So definitely check out our full video series on that. And thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe. And we will see you back here on the channel for more videos.